Right now we are at Manu National Park for the Giant Otter project. And our project is mainly focused on understanding uh, the new emerging risks to giant otters, which are an endangered species. The giant otter was uh, almost on the, the path to extinction, primarily from the fur trade. Uh, the otter was hunted uh, for the pelt. And uh, fortunately, in the 1970s, uh, that was outlawed. And so the giant otter populations have uh, slowly begun to recover. But just as that recovery was taking effect, of course, humans started moving into these Amazonian areas in larger numbers and having uh, different kinds of impacts. Gold mining activities, including uh, the use of mercury, which uh, is used to extract the gold and is a, a very dangerous contaminant that could impair the health and reproductive capability of giant otters and many other forms of wildlife. The Oxbow Lakes are the locations where we study the giant otters, where we survey for their presence. And when we see giant otters, we follow them and try to understand their behavior and also try to visualize their unique markings. That way we are able to look at individual otters and see their survival probability, see their dispersal, uh, understand the social structure of each family. If we don't find otters, then we also look for uh, signs of otters, such as uh, places where they go on land, such as dens. So places that, that we can tell for sure that the otters have frequented recently, so we can understand whether they have been in the same lake at the same time. This team is also looking at the entire ecology and health of that aquatic ecosystem in these oxbow lakes. So they're collecting uh, fish um, and sampling the fish to see if they have mercury contamination from nearby gold mining operations, looking at the abundance and diversity of those fish. Um, we're also doing surveys of the bird populations along the lake to see if those human uses are affecting uh, the bird populations. So really we're kind of using the giant otter to understand the overall health of the aquatic ecosystem that is the Oxbow Lake. The program provides a great opportunity for a lot of young Peruvian biologists to get their boots wet and uh, participate in uh, conservation research. Our staff is usually composed of people that uh, are born in the same area. These people know a lot about the forest and, and a lot about the animals because they grew up in this environment. And uh, for me, it's a great privilege to be part of the formation of this Peruvian biologist. And so we learn a lot from them by working with giant otters. <laughs>